All right, it may not look like much, but this is the beginning of my home gym, and I am really, really excited. I'll, we'll call it Home Gym Part 1, and I'll cover all the stuff and all the changes that I make to it. So really quick, uh, I just have a scaffold over there in the corner as a platform to lift heavy stuff on top of. I've got a wheelbarrow right here for various different things, and a couple sandbags. And maybe you can see them. Yeah, you can barely see them. i got some uh, gymnast rings right here for some body weight hanging stuff. Uh, so that being said, let me give you a brief timeline. So my, the majority of my entire life, the majority of my life, I've been pretty athletic and pretty active. Uh, I got my first weight bench when I was like 10 years old. My dad bought me a, one of those old weeder weight benches that are so narrow that even as a kid, you kind of got to watch your shoulders when you get underneath it and a big old concrete with plastic coated weights and all that stuff. And I just really loved exercising. Uh, just I love the feeling afterwards. You just feel so I, I love feeling exhausted Just feels really good to feel exhausted if that makes sense uh, Until about 2012 2013 ish when I started my business my activity level drastically reduced and my consumption of junk Drastically increased gained 40 pounds got incredibly lazy uh, That was for 2013 to 2020 basically and in 2020, I lost 40 pounds, 45 pounds, just by a nutrition change, eating more nutritious food and eliminating, eliminating the junk. And then at that point, I really got the itch to exercise, but I don't want to just start spending money on stuff. You got to earn it. You got to, got to know that you uh, actually want to do this. So I made the decision to do body weight only exercises for a few months. And if at that point I was consistent with it, then I'd go ahead and add to the next step. Well, I checked that box, a lot of body weight exercises for several months. Uh, and then I started to, to start adding heavy stuff to exercising and nothing very, very specific. You just find something heavy and move it. Very, very basic stuff. Um, I saw a video on YouTube. The guy said, uh, point blank, he said, just find something heavy and lift it up. Just, just quit overanalyzing stuff. Find something heavy and lift it up. Uh, lift it up safely. And the reason, the, the way he was saying it was, is like no one, no one says, you know, hey bro, can you help me lift this barbell up this set of stairs? No, it's always, can you help me lift this sofa? Or can you help me move this refrigerator? Just random, awkward, heavy stuff. So if you can move random, awkward, heavy stuff uh, in an exercise routine, well, you can do it in your daily life too. So... Uh, I have a few heavy things around the property. I've got a couple slabs. Uh, specifically, the heaviest one I have is Osage Orange. It's like 60 inches long, 14, 16 inches wide, three inches thick. It's a big, heavy chunk of Osage Orange. Just pick it up and walk around. And, you, and I feel tremendous after doing that. Just, it's a good physical release. Um, and then uh, I've got a wheelbarrow, as you can see right there. I'd load it up with wood, walk it around the yard, put it back, unload it. And that's kind of, you know, boring and sounds like crazy work, right? Why, why would you just, why would you do that? Well, uh, basically when I've got stuff on my mind or I'm trying to figure something out or work out a problem in my head, I'll pace and, and lapse around my shop. I'll just come in here and just start thinking and walking, thinking and walking, thinking and walking. But being able to do that while just doing grunt work, basically just load up a wheelbarrow, walk around, um, I find it to be very enjoyable and relaxing and allows me to, to figure stuff out while I'm exercising. So uh, I kind of took to that quite well and just, just started doing that. And then I thought, well, I want a little bit more controllable weight rather than just having these random items that I'm picking up. So I bought some sandbags, <laughs> which is a very humbling, humbling experience. I bought two sandbags. There are these blue ones I'll show you in a second, Iron Mind brand. And you just fill them up however much you need and there's your weight. What's cool about these bags is you don't have to fill them to the capacity for each size. So I think I got, uh, well, I got two, the smaller and the larger. And I think the smaller one is rated at 150 pounds of sand. The large one rated at 300 pounds of sand, something like that. And here's the humbling experience. I thought, no problem. You know, I'll get the, the small sandbag and I'll put 150 in it. That'll be fine. I'll get the bigger sandbag, you know, two maybe 250 in it and it'll be fine because i remember being much stronger than i am right now i put 100 in the small one and i was like oh that's that's no joke <laughs> put 150 in the larger one i'm like yeah i think i'm just gonna have to earn the rest of the weight we'll we'll stick with these for a little while 
Uh, but I've been using these two sandbags for a couple months now and, and uh, really, really good exercise with very, very basic stuff. So let me just show you the corner of what we already have, what I already have, and uh, some of the plans that I have going forward. Before I get into this, I just wanna make one quick point that I'm not gonna turn this into a fitness channel or anything like that or document a tremendous amount of the fitness stuff. I just wanna share my hobby with all of you and, and hopefully there'll be some like residual encouragement to do the same, to get stronger. Uh, when I shared my, um, my, my weight loss article, since then, it's been five and a half months, since then I've had dozens, probably 50 people send me an email or, or an Instagram direct message saying, hey, uh, I, I took your advice or, or did the same thing you did and hey, I feel so much better. I'm down 20, 30, 40, 50 pounds already. Ridiculous amount of awesome success from just from posting that, that little article on my website. And uh, uh, I guess it, you know, it, it did well with some people. So that was really, really cool and encouraging getting goosebumps talking about that. And if anybody can take a little bit of this particular video and get that encouragement to uh, start exercising without a whole full blown home gym at first or a, uh, you know, an expensive gym membership, you don't need a lot of stuff to just get started. Uh, so anyway, there's that. Um, when I got this, when I got the bags, um, I was basically looking at a bunch of like strongman exercises, just lifting heavy stuff and moving around. And one of the things that a lot of in the st strongman competitions is like Atlas stones. Uh, you lift a heavy object to a platform. Uh, that is the task. So I wanted a platform of some kind. And well, there's no need to make anything specific when I already had something like, like this scaffold, just put a two by 12 across the top. And there you go. Lift it up to the platform, throw it back down, lift it up, throw it back down, lift it up, throw it back down. Basic lifting, heavy, brace your core, all that good stuff. Uh, so I've been, I've been using this on an almost daily basis for the past two months ish one month ish two months ish and uh, tell you what it's it's uh, humbling like I said it'll wear you out big time I've recently also started using my wheelbarrow for um, is it farmers carry farmers yeah farmers carry let me let me bring you over here under normal circumstances the whole point of a wheelbarrow is to make the operator's job easier moving and transporting lifting heavier bulkier objects is easier in a wheelbarrow than you know just picking it up by hand so we want the opposite of that to actually exercise. You don't want the exercise to be really easy because you're not going to get any benefits from it. So to do that, you want to kind of reverse engineer or reverse the concept of the wheelbarrow. So with the wheelbarrow, all of the weight, as much of the weight as possible over the tires means less work the operator has to do over there. Plus you have long handles, so you kind of have a mechanical advantage to just basically balance the weight while all the weight is supported over here. Opposite of that, we want to have as much weight as possible on the handles and not on the wheels or the tires. So to do that, uh, I put a piece of 2x12 right here and then just screwed a couple legs to the bottom of it. This is all independent of the wheelbarrow, it's just sitting in place. And then I put the bigger sandbag on top of it right next to the handles. So this is 150 pounds, 100 pounds, 30 pound kettlebell I have in here, that's 280 pounds of additional weight. but because some of it is being supported by the tires. I'm not exactly sure how much of it is effective weight on these actual handles. I don't know, maybe 150, 200 pounds, but in this orientation with a set of handles, it's much more uh, user-friendly to carry and walk uh, rather than holding like a big 150 pound sandbag that you have to, um, you know, uh, you have to manipulate the weight on your chest or hold it up or whatever. It's just much, much easier to, to hold these handles. So you can get a different type of a workout rather than just lifting these up over there. Um, and there's a lot of other things you can do with this wheelbarrow. You can do standing calf raises, you can do deadlifts, you can do bent over rows where you're working your upper back, which in this setup is no joke either. So you can do all kinds of cool stuff with basic stuff that you may already have at your house. So yeah, you don't need a bunch of stuff to start exercising and lifting heavy and, and feeling fantastic. But uh, I do want to have a, a nice gym out here for not only myself, but my family, my friends, my, my neighbors, uh, someplace that we can 
uh, grow together, get stronger together. And for that, there's a few other things that I want, really want to have. I want to have a, a power rack of some kind, whether it's build or, buy, build or buy, I'm not exactly sure. But I do want to have some type of rack structure to safely do, uh, you know, front squats, back squats, overhead pressing, bench pressing safely by yourself. If, you know, I'm out here by myself exercising. I don't want to accidentally drop the bar and not, not have any supports. And uh, there goes that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know if I'm going to build or buy that. I've got some plate storage ideas that I want to do. Um, I think it would be really cool to build a sled to pull on the ground, and one that would fit not only weight plates, but my daughter. My daughter would love to ride it. <laughs> uh, that would be fun. Uh, I got a bunch of other ideas to build some stuff. Um, so that's going to be kind of sprinkled through this summer, I think. And... Um, once my first order from Kabuki comes in, uh, which is their Trap Bar HD and some plates, uh, we'll get started on some accessories for that. I just wanted to start this series. Hopefully, I encourage some of you out there to uh, get stronger, just lifting heavy stuff that's around you. You don't have to go out and buy a bunch of stuff. And if, hey, if you want to just go out and buy a bunch of stuff, then do that. <laughs> do whatever makes you happy. You guys take care. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you in the next video.